Well, here we are again, guys. Sitting on the laptop, talking about shit that you guys should not be doing at all. We're gonna be talking about drugs. Yay. And again, I've said this in the past two videos, I've talked about stuff like this. I don't like making these videos. You guys like it way too much. Like, just way too much. The last video got 16,000 likes. Dude, what the fuck? So, anyways, um, I just wanted to say, I don't support any of these drugs. I'm not no druggie. I just wanted to say that. But regardless, guys, today we're going to be talking about the first time I got drunk. So, growing up, there was always a bunch of parties that I went to. And every now and then, I would, like, drink a beer and whatnot when I was a little bit younger. But I never got drunk drunk until about three weeks after my graduation. And it was actually in the same week when I did the Molly in Texas, right? So I didn't say this in my last video, but the girl was actually a bartender, right? And me and my friend were just visiting. So when we flew in, obviously she wanted to set us up with some really nice drinks and kind of show off, you know, that she can make nice drinks or whatnot, right? But once we get there, she pulls out a ton of lemons, some vodka, and a ton of juice, and she puts together a really nice drink, okay? But we all start drinking these drinks, and uh, the guy that I actually flew there with, um, really, okay, I'm just telling you guys this because I don't want you guys to make the same mistake he did. But if you guys don't drink, when someone offers you a drink, motherfucker, you drink it, okay? But my, the guy that I went there with, he literally grabs this drink that she has crafted. She has fucking crafted this together. He takes one sip. He wasn't a drinker either. He never drank alcohol. And he's like, ah, oh, it tastes like shit. And he starts pouring it in the drain. She literally almost fucking tackles him when she sees him fucking pouring out the drink that she crafted. And she's like, no, 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 I'll drink it, okay? So, just a little bit piece of advice for you guys that are a little bit younger. Okay, so we all start drinking. I finish my first drink, and then I move on to a beer. And I'm really debating if I should tell you guys about this, but you know what? Fuck it. I, I'm going to add it, okay? So, if you're young and you're going to start drinking, whatever you do. First of all, I don't want to say that you should drink, okay? I'm not saying that. But if you do start drinking... Please, whatever you do, don't pretend like you're drunk after one beer, okay? Look, I don't I never wanted to talk about this. I don't I still don't want to talk about this, but it needs to be a part of the story, okay? So the guy that I flew in with, he didn't drink either, and he's on about a half a beer, okay? He didn't drink the first drink, he almost flushed it, and he's drinking his first beer, he's about halfway through, everybody's talking, and he interrupts everybody and says this, dude. Oh, I don't even like thinking about it. Ugh. But he says this. Whoa, dude. Oh, my God. The ground is, like, wobbly, dude. Oh, damn. Whoa. Everybody just looks at him, like, dude, what the fuck did you... Why, dude? Just why, okay? Everybody knows he's not drunk. He's on his, like, half a beer. And the girl just kind of looks at him, doesn't say one word, and looks away, okay? And then we just kind of ignore it, right? But, like, ten minutes go by, and he does the same thing again. And the girl looks at him and says, Uh, are you having a placebo effect? Because you cannot get drunk off a of half a beer. And everybody just dead silence. Because he just got called out right there in front of his face. And the reply he says back is just, I don't even want to do it, okay? But I'm going to, for you guys, for my family, for America. She says that, and he says, I don't know, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, maybe not as many woes, but still. Anyways, back to the story after I kind of went off about that. Um, so I keep drinking. I drink about three more beers, and I get another one. I think I got two more of those drinks she made. They were really good. Props to her. And then I drank just one pure vodka shot, which was very hard to get down. I couldn't even get it down just in, like, one gulp because I'm a fucking pussy, I guess. I don't know, man. Give me a break, okay? This is my first time drinking, and I'm not some alcoholic. I only got drunk about three times in my life. This is just one of the few stories, okay? But anyways, um, I drink the, you know... I I'm pretty fucked, okay? I'm I'm really fucked. And um, a lot of people always ask me what it feels like to be drunk, and it's different for everybody, you know? When I was in the Irish pub in Amsterdam, there's people that are singing, feeling great, and then there's other people that get fucking angry, they turn into fucking Scorpion from Mortal Kombat wanting to hook people and shit. Everybody's different, okay? But for me, I feel really social, and even though my body feels a little bit sluggish, I still feel like I, I can think and talk, you know? Um, it's not like the movies where, I mean, it does depend on how much you drink, but it's not like the movies where it's like, I'm going to fucking 
tissue mode. Like, it, it's not like that. I can still talk and I can still operate fine. And it actually makes me more social, um, which I kind of enjoy. But yeah, I guess I don't mind alcohol. I mean, I don't want to say I support it, but as long as you're not like attacking someone after you drink or drinking every single second of your time, I think you should be good. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story. I didn't like leave and puke on someone's dresser or some shit like that. I just drank and went to bed but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this story today leave a like if you guys enjoyed this and want more like this and maybe i'll talk about some reptilian drugs <laughs> peace guys